Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this haul. Um, I had so much fun in Walmart and I totally forgot to film my Walmart haul a few days ago because um, I got a little bit of presents. So I'm going to show you guys all of it. My um, brother has a little girl and so I've been buying her stuff. And one of my friends is having a little girl, so I bought a gift. So oh, I've just been having the best time shopping in the girl section. So if you're a boy mom like me, you know that like when you get into that other gender section that you're not used to, you're like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I had to ask my brother like what kind of socks to get because I just wasn't sure. And I'm kind of particular and I wanted to make sure I got him what he wanted. So hopefully this is all good, but I'll show you guys the great deals I got. So my, my table just looks like a smorgasbord right now. Oh my gosh, it just looks so unorganized. But I'm gonna go through and show you guys. And not even all my stuff would fit on the table, so I have to kind of take an intermission and take some stuff off and put more stuff on. So this was the stuff all over here that I got uh, about a week ago and I was just in Walmart picking up something and saw that everything was on sale for a dollar twelve couldn't beat it super excited started finding what I could for some reason I thought my niece was already in a 12 month so I was getting 12 month stuff and that's why today I went and got some different stuff so she just has lots of clothes now because Aunt Lacey's crazy but I went ahead and got these pajamas, which will be fine for her because they're 12 months. And I always bought, when they're skinny like this, I always bought the next size up for my son. So I wouldn't imagine that it'd be different for a girl. But um, I didn't think these were a terrible price. They were $7.44. And I just thought they were so cute little Hello Kitty. You can't go wrong with that. All of this stuff was marked down. So it was $1.12. Could not go wrong, could not get better. Uh, all of this is 12 months. Um, uh, so I got her three pairs of these little shorts. So I got pink and purple and green. And I was trying to make it easy for my brother to mix and match. So if he matched up anything wrong, it really wouldn't be wrong. So I found this little onesie and I thought this was cute because it was like a little eyelet kind of a thing. And good for the summer and good to layer. I also thought this was super cute and then he could put any pair of shorts with that he wanted. It was also $1.12 and I have never seen these before. I don't even know how this little style looks on babies but I thought it'd be cute. Over here, I think I paid regular price for this shirt and it was because I couldn't find another one and I had gotten three shorts. So I got a shirt that could go with any of the color shorts, but I think it was only $2.88, so you can't go wrong with that. I was a little leery about getting white, but I don't know. There's not a lot of white in boy colors, so I never had to worry about that. I splurged on this outfit. It's 12 months, but it is $7.94 as you can see. But I just loved these colors. I was like, oh my gosh, I love these colors. And I thought, well, you know, he can, even if for some reason um, we get her pants and she doesn't wear the shorts, I still thought it was cute and I didn't, I don't think I'm gonna take it back or anything like that. And these were my other big score that were all $1.12. So these were all two T's, which my niece obviously is not two T, but look at these shirts, guys. For a dollar, he can stash these away. And I thought this one was cute. And they were all kind of the same color, so. You know with guys, you gotta make matching a little bit easy. So I thought that one was super cute and look at these stinking shorts with the lace down here, OMG. Oh, I was dying. So I got every pair that I could find. So they were all $1.12. And then I got this other really cute outfit. It's this little shirt 
with matching shorts and they were both $1.12. These are matchy matchy, but I figured that was good. So he would have those for her and um, she would always look matched. This, this is the stuff I actually got today because when I called him and said, hey, I got some stuff, he said, um, those sizes are too big. And I said, oh. So today <laughs> um, I went and got, so today I went and picked out these two cute little outfits and they're just shorts and a shirt. I thought this little kitty one was cute. I liked the polka dot. And then this one I thought was really cute because it was blue and it just has some blue shorts with it. And I thought that's cute because, you know, I don't know how much he wants to go pink and all that. So I got those and those are actually the right size, six to nine months. I went ahead and picked her up some sandals and he did not know the size off the top of his head. So I'm hoping that these fit. If not, he can save them. And then I went ahead and got him these shoes because they were also marked down and I just thought they were super cute. They kind of reminded me, my brother's like a Converse guy and so I thought maybe he would like these and I like that they're a little sparkly. So I got a size 2 and a size 3 because they were marked down for $5. And when I told him about that he said, please get me socks. So that's when I went and got some socks. I ended up getting ankle socks because I wasn't sure. So they are purple on this side and pink on this side. And I got the ones that had the little rubber at the bottom because I thought most of the time he'd probably just be playing with her like in the house and stuff. So I just wanted her to have the little grippers. So I, that was my educated guess. <laughs> I also got her a um, this little toy. And I just thought it was cute. It made all these funny noises. And um, he doesn't have really a lot of toys at his house. So I'm trying to stock him up. We'll skip over that and come back. On the baby front, um, this stuff is actually a gift for um, somebody at church. And I went ahead and I got those little shoes. Again, these were actually supposed to be on sale for $3. And they didn't ring up $3. But I was like that's fine um so I got her a pair of shoes that she could keep till next year but I just thought they were cute and doesn't every girl need jellies when they're little I got these two outfits and they're zero to three months and I just thought this was so cute with the little giraffe and then the little giraffe shorts and I also got that same outfit I must have really liked this outfit guys because both times I went, I picked it out. Um, for this gift, sometimes when people are having second babies, you just don't really know what to get and everybody gets you clothes. So I got some um, wipes and I got some diapers. I got newborn diapers and preemie diapers. I have a feeling their baby's gonna be little, little, little. So um, it's a girl and her mom is not very big, her dad is not very big so I would imagine that she's gonna be little so I always wish I would have had some preemie diapers so that's why I always get people preemie diapers or newborn diapers and um, I mean I had newborn diapers but I didn't have preemie and the newborns were big on my son and he was seven one and when I brought him home he was six and a half and the newborns were big so that is kind of my go-to now because I wished I had done that for myself so this is going to be a gift that I'm going to give at a baby shower next week all right guys so that was the first half and now we'll go on to the second half um this is just stuff I needed wanted um I wanted a few things for my house so I went ahead and picked those up and I'll just get into it and show you guys what I got all right so here's the overview it's kind of random stuff so we'll start with the food. I, of course, got me some Diet Coke because that's my vice. Everybody has a vice. Um, bringing uh, dinner to the shelter, I do that like every other week. So um, this time I'm bringing a salad and paper products and some of my other friends bring other stuff. So I went ahead and got some lettuce and tomatoes for that. 
Um, I just wanted some coffee creamer. I don't use it a whole bunch, so I just got a little one. Went ahead and got um, some beef for dinner next week. Um, I love this beef for the packaging aspect. It's so much easier to open, and you pay a little bit more, but not a whole bunch. I want to say there's like $4.98 for a pound. Um, I know that's more than normal, but it's such less mess. I love it. So a lot of times I'll go just pick up one or two, whatever I need for that week, and then go on with life. I wanted to do a little bit of different decorating in my living room. So I got these two picture frames, and one is a 4 by 6 and it's white. One is a 5 by 7 and it's dark, but they're all really pretty. And these were $4. Look at all that detail. $4. Can you believe that? So I went ahead and picked those up and um, stay tuned for a clean with me where I um, put those out. Um, I went ahead and got salad dressing to take with me to the shelter um, for the salad. Um, I went ahead and just got some soda to take with me. Um, I usually bring tea. We live in the south, so you know, tea, no big deal, but they didn't have any tea at Walmart. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So, I got soda. Um, went ahead and got paper products. These are my go-to paper products, especially when I go to the shelter because they're a good price point. And we're using, everything I bring in, we use that day. Um, so these cups, they're foam cups, and for 20, it's 98 cents. The forks um, are like 148, and these are really good. I buy them just for regular gatherings too. Um, the plates, uh, these are a really good price. I want to say they're about three dollars, and I'm pretty particular about plates. And I don't, when I go to the shelter, I don't just try to get the cheapest thing either. I want to get something that's, you know, comfortable for somebody to eat off of. And um, but these are my go-to napkins. They're usually at the bottom shelf of the napkins. Um, there's 150 for 97 cents. So these are my go-to napkins just because I can leave the rest there and they can use them for other meals, breakfast, lunch. I went ahead and grabbed this uh, foil pan. It's actually a roasting pan. It was 97 cents though and I wanted a pan that I could put my salad in and that I could leave if there was extra salad or I didn't have to worry about getting my pan back and I didn't want to run to the dollar store that's what I usually do with the foil pans I go to the dollar store because they're more expensive at Walmart but this one will work just fine I was walking around and I saw a few just things I needed to start school um, I really wanted some highlighters the other day and I couldn't find any for the price point I was looking for, so today I had a little bit more time and found the ones I wanted. I think these were $1.47 or $97. Um, went ahead and grabbed tape. This, were, this was actually a really good deal. It was $1.44 for three things of tape, and I really like the transparent tape. The regular tape was actually an even better deal. I think it was like a dollar for two, I want to say. So, for some reason, we cannot keep track of our ruler, and so I went ahead and just grabbed another ruler um, for school, because we homeschool. I went ahead and grabbed um, two post-it notes. I thought I had another one, but maybe it's floating around here somewhere. And I also grabbed, I really like these kind of post-it notes. They're like sticky like a post-it note on top, but you can write more, like you can write a list or things like that. So I got the boy colors because I have a boy, so we could use them all year. And usually I write my son kind of a list of what we have to do that day, and that works really well for him. So this is what I... This is what I actually went to Walmart for. I really wanted these curtains. I want to say they were about $12. Um, as you can tell, that's what they look like. I know there's a lot of glare, but that's what they look like. I'm going to see how they look in my living room. It came with two panels, so I thought that was good. I needed a curtain rod for my living room, and I needed one for my dining room. I have curtains I can hang in my dining room already, but... Um, I needed a new rod and I always get these clips and clip my 
the top right here, I always clip just that little top up there so that it um, falls and it just, I think it looks better. I think it looks a little bit more high end. These clips are a little pricey. They're $4.90, $4.74 I want to say. So you at least have to have probably one pack per panel. And so I got two packs. My other ones that I'm hanging in my dining room already had clips on them. And so I think it just makes it look a little bit more high end. I don't know. I just like the way it looks better. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, my husband and I were just talking about Game of Thrones. So I went ahead and got him the first two seasons of Game of Thrones. And that was just kind of a fun thing for us. And um, two candy bars for watching our Game of Thrones. And I saw this thing. And it's one of those time things where you turn it over and it the sand pours down. And I saw this there and I thought it was really cool. I actually had one in my house when I was growing up and I really liked it. And I always thought it was neat. And so I thought it'd be a really fun thing to put somewhere in my house. I don't know, I like the idea of time. I don't know, I just thought it was a really fun kind of different knickknack. I don't know. That's weird, but it's what I got. Thank you guys for coming over and seeing my grocery haul today. It was just some kind of random stuff and all those baby car, all those baby girl clothes because who does not love baby clothes? Oh my gosh. Um, but if I could leave you with any tip, it would be to buy the next size up and have that on hand when your kids are moving into the next size. Um, so that's why a lot of those uh, baby clothes, some of them are 2T, some of them are 12 months. Um, it was just, when you find that sale, just snatch them up and tuck them away. So I know that they will go to good use and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Thank you so much for hanging out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.